what's going on guys so this video is going to be a little tutorial on how you can help boost your search engine optimization with Google Trends if you're looking to get more views on YouTube you definitely want to check out Google Trends as a way to help find what's trending what people are searching for on YouTube as well as Google because Google owns YouTube so there definitely is a connection between the Google algorithm and the YouTube algorithm so if you've never used Google Trends, you're definitely going to want to check this out. So Google Trends is a completely free search engine optimization or SEO for a variety of different things. You can use this for eBay. You can use this for your websites. You can use this for certainly YouTube. So we're going to use it for YouTube today and see how we can connect what's being searched on Google versus what's being searched on uh, YouTube. So click on Google Trends. So this is the Google Trends homepage. So as you can see, there's a quick glance kind of tutorial that can help you kind of get going and it shows what's trending and where it's trending in terms of region, world, etc. So let's just start off with something that you might be uh, considering for a YouTube video. So let's say you're doing a breakdown of the uh, NFL playoffs. So let's do 2022 NFL playoffs. So once we hit the 2022 NFL playoffs, this sort of key phrase, um, I can see, you know, how it's trended over time. Now, the NFL playoffs for 2022 aren't going to be trending in May or August. Um, they'd be trending around late December, early January. So we'd want to adjust our filter to maybe the past seven days. You can even do the past hour or four hours as an option as well. So let's just do seven days for he has. So the way it's broken down is a scale from zero to 100. 100 means peak popularity and zero means there's not enough data. You can also drag your cursor over the different uh, chart areas to see the popularity. So as you can see, January 2nd, it was a peak popularity of 100. And then it's kind of gone down a little bit. You know, you can consider thinking about this as a potential YouTube video. But the purpose of Google Trends is it gives you, you know, some sort of idea as to how popular it is via Google. Another reason Google Trends is beneficial, the Google keyword searches here can also link YouTube videos that you've used the same keywords in. So that's another, you know, thing you want to consider is using Google keywords as well as the YouTube keywords so people can find your videos through Google. Let's check YouTube to see the popularity on YouTube with that same keyword search. So this is just the, the free version of vidIQ and it gives you a little bit of an overview snapshot. Um, so this is a more favorable response, you know, giving some decent volume and it's a score of 59 out of 100, not great, but not bad. And uh, the, the key here is low uh, competition. So, you know, I can maybe squeeze in and get a video that's ranked somewhat high, maybe going over the NFL playoffs. And uh, I might be able to get some views from that. All right, another way to officially utilize the Google Trends is to see what's trending. So you can click on trending searches and you have three tabs here. Um, you have the daily search trends, that's the overall body of searches for 24 hours and then you have the real-time stuff that's really hot in terms of being searched right now typically you're gonna have news stories and sports stuff for the real time but um, check out things that are trending on here and see if any of these match your channels content and see if you can make some sort of video that deals with some of these potential keyword searches you also can switch the countries over here. So if you're not located in the United States, you can simply change it to whatever country you're in so that you can better align to the searches in your countries. Real-time searches. Let's see if there's anything in here for us. You know, maybe you wanted to do a sports overview. That's something your, um, your channel does, something like that. Maybe live stream some of these endings to these games. That could be something that could be worthwhile. Always take the information here and go to YouTube and use some sort of SEO tool for YouTube and kind of tweak it. So let's see. So as you can see, um, there's some pretty good volume right here and a pretty good score for kind of posting a video dealing with the Brooklyn Nets. 
Um, and it's also trending right here, Kyrie Irving, etc. So, you know, you can kind of play around with this stuff and change the uh, keywords a little bit to narrow it down and figure out if you even attempt that kind of video. Google Trends really is going to help you determine a topic and potentially some keywords. You're going to then have to figure out the YouTube keywords by sort of using these SEO uh, tools like vidIQ or TubeBuddy and kind of play around with the actual phrasing of the keywords for the video, but it gives you information as to whether there's people actually out there searching. So Google Trends is gonna help you determine whether there's interest in the topic. It shows you region-wise, it also shows you other related topics, so it kind of shows you other things that are trending that are associated with the topic. It's definitely something you can use and you can sort of plug in your information here to tweak the keywords and create videos that are gonna rank high and you might be able to use some of these for YouTube so that you can actually rank higher in your search videos and sort of play on trending topics. All right, so definitely something to consider when creating YouTube videos or if you're not sure what your next video should be, check out Google Trends to try to get some ideas on things that are trending and then double check your keywords on YouTube to see if they're being searched there. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.